What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Diamond of Body, aka DTB, <laughs> aka Disturbing These Bitches, because you know that's just what the fuck I do. And today I'm going to be doing a cooking vlog, all right? So it is Tuesday. So I decided to do a little Taco Tuesday, all right? Um, I'm going to be doing a combination of tacos. So I'm going to do salmon, shrimp, and ground turkey. So there's different flavors and varieties because one of my friends, well, my best friend, Charlie, he doesn't eat meat. So I did the seafood for him and for me. And then I'm doing a ground turkey for, you know, whoever else. And, you know, everybody can eat. So come with me as I cook tacos for Taco Tuesday. Okay, so I just went grocery shopping. I got all the ingredients for the tacos. So I'm going to do... The shrimp, uh, a little salmon, and the uh, ground turkey. So I bought big portions, but I'm not going to use all of it, obviously. Um, it's just for, you know, we use a portion of each and then, you know, leftovers for other dinner purposes. But, um, okay, should I take? the rest of the stuff out or do I take it out later? I'll just take it out later because I don't need it right now. All right, so what I need is, okay, so first I'm gonna get my portions out. So I usually buy big portions so I can like have food for the rest of the week so I don't gotta keep going back to the grocery store. Yeah. Yeah, All right, so, so, let me get my portion. I'm gonna cut like, mm, this one should be good. Cut that up. Cut it up and make it like, you know? Because my friend Charlie, he eats a lot, you know? So I gotta make sure I have extra food for him. You know, I don't really eat that much. I don't eat that much. And then for the ground turkey. soak it in some vinegar to get that tissue smell out you know all right guys by the way i'm not a fucking professional chef okay i just i be doing my thing in the kitchen but don't be over here like clocking all my teas like ah she ain't do that she ain't do that like i'm not at no five star restaurant i'm cooking in my house for me and my friends okay and don't get me wrong my shit good as fuck my shit busting like i really know how to cook for real for real, for real, for real. but you know, I don't prepare shit all professional. Like, I'm just going to throw the shit down and put it together. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to put this. I think this is a good amount. For the ground turkey. You know, ground turkey been shriveling up. So, let me just go with I'm going to just go with half. Just in case. Um, put that down the middle. Just in case. Because, you know, ground turkey shrivels up a lot. It's like, it might look like a lot, but then they come out shriveled. So that's it right there. All right, so with that, I'm gonna put the rest of this back 
Okay guys, this is the not fun part, okay? It's like a love-hate relationship. It's like, you look at, ugh, disgusting. But that's why you gotta clean your meats. I don't know, I think it was a post going around saying people don't wash their chicken and they don't wash their food. And I'm just like, do y'all know where the food even been? Like, wash y'all shit, okay? Hey, cut it out. Wash the food, guys, because there's a lot of bodily parts that's in these, you know, in this food that if you don't clean it, you're going to eat it. You heard that. If you don't clean it, you're going to eat it. So clean the shit out of the goddamn shrimps, okay? Or veins or whatever the fuck you want to call it. So, yeah, you got to peel the shrimp. I tried to get, um, I tried to get shrimp that was already peeled, but it was frozen so i was like i don't want to deal with frozen because i don't know how long it's been there because you know when it's frozen it could have been in there for a fucking week they trying to sell that bitch so i'm gonna go with the fresh one i'm gonna go with the fresh one right so now that that's peeled um usually okay so what i'm gonna do is i don't know why i picked that up all right i'm gonna get some of the vinegar all right and Pour it in the bowl. This is how you clean your seafood. Really, you should clean all your meats like that. Well, not ground turkey, because it's already like mushy and shit. But like with this, definitely just add water and then kind of just let that sit for a little bit. Move it around. Cause it gets that fishy like sometimes you know your seafood will be having this fishy feel taste smell to it the vinegar just knock it out all right get that in there for a second move that around mm -hmm. and then while i'm doing that while that's sitting there for a little bit you know let it you know absorb i'm gonna bring this over here and start seasoning the ground turkey so, I know this Houston don't really got that many seasonings like four to do, but you know, I make it work, okay? So, really and truly, I just be throwing a whole bunch of shit on the shit, realistically. Like, I'm not a measure. I'm not a. Like, I don't too much be paying attention to what and who and why i just dump that shit in there how i feel you know what i'm saying like it, it, you gotta feel it you gotta feel right you know what i'm saying that's how you know when it's done you just gotta feel it so for example you know let me see this thing a little bit of, yeah get it coverage full coverage we need it all over okay And then, you know, a little bit of this. And I like to use all my seasonings <laughs> for everything. Like, I don't have a, oh, I'll use this for this and that for that. Every, everything gets the same fucking treatment, same seasoning, you know what I'm saying? Same proportion. You just gotta, you just gotta know. All right, so I'm gonna finish seasoning this. Just put a little salt in there. Don't judge me, y'all. You know, that's why you got to work out, too. That's why I have high blood, 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 blood pressure in the morning. But it's all worth it because it tastes good as fuck. Now, this is basil, so it don't got, like, no salt. So you could kind of, like, you know, you could add a little extra. Um, what's this? Lemon pepper? Don't ask me why I put lemon pepper on ground turkey. But, you know, it just brings out the flavor. I'm not, like, trying to make it, like, lemon pepper wings. But, you know, just give it a little... And then black pepper. Mm, yep, all right, that look good. See, it just gotta be full coverage. Like, you gotta just cover the whole thing. Now, when you're done covering it, you gotta just mush it all together. This is also the nasty part, because it's ugh, so mushy to get all in my fingers and stuff. <sighs> but I gotta do it. Eee, eee, eee. Eee. Oh, disgusting. 
Mm, it kind of feels like Play-Doh or like slime. It's just so mushy and gushy and disgusting. But you do it if you want the seasoning to get all through the meat. Okay. Ooh, ooh. All right. Just make sure it's like still covered fully everywhere. See how this look like if don't got nothing on it? Let me go back and throw a little extra. Okay. Go ahead. All right. See now that looks better. Like you know, like everything touched. Ugh. I hate this shit, bro. It's so nasty. It feels so cold and slimy and disgusting. Well, oh, it tastes so good. By the way, guys, I'm vegan. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would like to be vegan. I aspire to be vegan. Like one day I will be completely vegan, but today, not today, but one day. So now let's get back to this. I'm gonna bring it out. Mm, these smell a lot better. They don't, they don't got that fish smell. Like, ugh, I hate that fish smell. And then when you can tell people don't clean their food because you can still taste it after it's cooked. You ever have fish and you be like, mm, this tastes fishy? Because they ain't put no vinegar on it. They ain't wash it. They just threw that shit in the pot and threw some seasoning on it. Not over here, baby. Not over here. So, after we do that, oh, let me smell it. Mmm, that smells so much better. Yep, there's no smell. It just smells like nothing. Make sure you wash all the vinegar off of it, too. Don't add this If it smells like vinegar, it ain't wash enough. Wash it some more. Because you don't want no vinegar or ass fish either. You don't want fishy fish and you don't want vinegar fish. You just want, like, fish fish. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, so I just ended up like actually cutting it off the back. I didn't realize it wasn't like easy peel. So I just like literally cut it off the back type shit. So yeah, no more skin. Throw it out. Well, we could throw it on Charlie later while he's sleeping. That'd be funny. But He'll be in that. What in the All right, so now let's see. Our fish is a little dry. It's not as wet as it was. We pat dried it. And then we're just gonna throw it in this bowl because that's where we're gonna see some of that. Get that out there. Um, should I season this together? You know what? I'm gonna season it all on here. Make some more space. Okay, so I'm gonna throw this in a pot while before. Cause, so I'm gonna let this get hot. Alright, so I'm gonna just uh, slide this in there. Up. Yeah, so while that's on the stove, I'm gonna transfer this over here and start seasoning the seafood. So here we go, same seasonings. Like I said, everything get the same treatment. You see this say fish markets, it's seafood seasoning, but it tastes good on everything, trust me. Mm, Creole seasoning. Look what that say. Great on everything. Okay. <laughs> you know, he knew what I was talking about. Put that bitch on everything. Mm, look at that. Italian seasoning. I don't know what that is, but hey, it looked pretty. Lemon pepper, just because. Why the fuck not? <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, y'all. The seasoning is getting in my own. Okay. Now I know what you're thinking. <laughs> like, God damn, bitch, you a little heavy-handed with the seasoning. 
But trust me, like when you cooking, you need <laughs> seasoning. <laughs> Cause you don't want your shit to be flavorless. Like that's how white people cook. Like I don't cook like white people. Like bitch, I need a little. Mm, I need to taste my food, baby. You know what I'm saying? Mix that up. And then once you mix it up and then cut it up and stuff, it, it's like it don't be given that same vibe. Like so, you gotta put some extra seasoning in it. You know what I'm saying? Perfect. All right, let me get uh. And yeah, wash your hands, guys, after every transfer, cause you don't want to bring the fish stuff over to the other stuff. to cook the ground turkey. Hopefully it doesn't melt or anything because it's plastic, but we're just gonna move that around a little bit. Get that going. Let's put this out evenly. And when it gets all brown on one side, we just turn it all around. And try to put that like on a medium vibe, like four, all right? So that's for that. Okay, so for this, we're gonna use another pot. And also, I'm gonna cut these shrimps up. Cause for the taco, you know, I wanna be able to like scoop it out. I didn't want it to be like big whole shrimp. Really, I was looking for baby shrimps, but they didn't have it. So I was like, okay, I'll just get the big shrimps and I'll just cut it up. You know? Don't mind that dog, it's homeless. I just saw him on the streets. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that's Charlie's dog. But he just wants some attention right now. He doesn't like that I'm the star of the show and you know, I'm getting all the attention. So he hates it, but he'll be all right. Don't worry, we're not abusing him, I promise. Please don't call the, 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 the dog people. What's the dog people? I know the, the baby people of CPS. What's the dog people? Animal, Animal cruelty. Animal cruelty. I promise you he's all right. He's fed, he's taken care of. He's lounging on a bed right now, realistically. Not in no cage. We ain't got him all, you know what I'm saying? But he's a Yorkie. So if any of you guys know how Yorkies are, if you have a Yorkie, they love attention, okay? So when they're not getting it, they don't like it. So yeah, cut the shrimps up, cut the shrimps up. So I'll be able to like kind of scoop it in the um, taco stuff, you know? Okay, so let me go back and check on this. Alright, let's get another like brown on the side. Let's start uh, mushing it around. And like I said, guys, I am not a professional chef. I don't cook all pretty. I be watching them vlogs and shit, and they be like, oh, come cook with me. And that should be looking so pretty. I'm like, how the fuck y'all cook so pretty? Like, I don't know. I ain't go to school for culinary arts, okay? I went to school of hard knocks. <laughs> I'm so corny, but I be laughing at my jokes. I don't know about nobody else. That wasn't funny, Charlie. <laughs> so yeah, mix that around, mix that around. We want to keep mixing it because we, we don't want it to stick together. We want that ground beef type of vibe, but this is ground turkey, so it's not ground beef. So it kind of cooks different. So you're going to have to keep mixing it around. Now... We have this pot I'm gonna put right here. Um, I'm gonna use, let's see. Yeah, you know, we in Houston, so we got these like elect these um fire stoves. I'm not used to fire stoves, I'm from Florida. Oh shit. Sorry, I just bought this new like <clears throat> oil. It's like avocado oil, and I just like the way it sprays. And it's supposed to be like way healthier for you, so I'm trying it out. All right, so first I want to start. Okay. So with the ground turkey, you gotta really chop it up because it will like stick together, and you you don't want it to stick together. You want it to just be separated and have that ground um, beef vibe, 
you know? So you gotta really make sure you're watching it, make sure you're really like cutting it up as you go. All right, you know, leave that in there for a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna cook the salmon and the shrimp separately. Alright, so we're gonna just add the salmon to this pot. Ooh, yeah. And then we're gonna put the shrimp in this pot. I know it's not a traditional shrimp pot. Like, I usually use another frying pan, but I don't have any more. So. <laughs> we're just gonna use what we got, okay? Like I said, not a professional. I'm a professional, guys. Just somebody that knows how to cook. All right, guys, so like I said, this is not going to stay. I'm not keeping it like a filet. I'm going to actually chop it too, kind of like the um, ground turkey. So we have like a, you know, for the tacos, everybody to dip in and kind of, you know, <laughs> I need a knife. Oh, okay. Chop it up a little bit. Okay guys, so as you can see, my salmon is chopped, okay? This is the look I was going for, so it can kind of go in the taco. And then these shrimps look like they're pretty done. Mm. Ground beef. By the way, there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, taking a little taste test just to make sure everything is like, you know, somebody got to just taste it. I'm not one of them look at it in a You know, I need to make sure it's good. So, that tastes good, but it could be a little bit more. Just a little, little, mm. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to taste it, because you got to make sure that shit good. You know what I'm saying? And if you ain't used enough seasoning in the beginning, you gotta hit that bitch again the second time, all right? Now for the shrimp, I just wanna make sure they're fully cooked. Mm, okay, you know you gotta fold the shit. You gotta see the inside, make sure it's all red, you don't got no like, you know what I'm saying? Cause sometimes they'll look red on the outside, but then they'll still be like not cooked on the inside. So that's pretty nice. Shrimp is like easy to cook. Let me see about this salmon. The salmon now is looking a little ripe, <clears throat> but I just want a little taste, just to make sure the flavor is right. You know what I'm saying? Mmm, I like that. All right. I'll turn it off because we don't want to overcook it either and have it like dry. So that's a good vibe right there. All right, I think everything's pretty much done. I know earlier I said don't mix the spoons with everything, but that's only <laughs> I was a little bit sad. But realistically, it's only for people that have like, you know, some people have seafood allergies. So it's like if you use this and mix this and put this in here. And they eat that, they'll get sick. But nobody here has seafood allergies. Everybody eat there. Everybody's gonna eat all three of these. But if you're cooking for people, you can either make sure they don't have no seafood allergies or selfish allergies, or you know use different forks. But for here, everybody can eat all this shit, so it's okay. All right, I think I'm pretty much done. So, oh, let me turn this off. Yeah, once it's like cooked. Guys, you want to just turn the stove off because you don't want to um, burn anything and you don't want to overcook stuff where it tastes chewy or, you know what I'm saying? Let me go back in and taste one more and make sure. <clears throat> mm. All right, that's the vibes right there. That's good. All right, yep, everything's good. Stove's off. 
Now I'm gonna prepare everything over here. So give me a second. Well, before I do that, <clears throat> let's start, you know, putting everything back. Your house not like a complete shit show mess. This is how you you gotta cook and clean at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Put all this stuff back. So even when you're cleaning, it's a lot easier. It's not like you gotta start from scratch. And like, okay, it's, half, it's halfway there. All right, so I'm gonna come back with the preparation. So guys, um, as you're cooking, try to clean up <laughs> while you cook, okay? It makes the process a lot easier. You don't wanna have like 10,000 dishes stacked in the sink when you're done, you know what I'm saying? And really and truly, I don't have that many dishes. <laughs> you feel me? I only got one pack when I moved in, so it's like, if I leave this in there, we're not gonna have no dishes to eat out of. So, <clears throat> but also too, you still want to just do that naturally because you cook and clean at the same time. You know what I'm saying? It's a vibe. And so when the food is done, you know the kitchen is clean, everything looks good. But yeah, guys, so <clears throat> it's definitely everything's on the stove. It's ready to go. Now it's just about like you know preparation, placement, and stuff, making it look. This is the pretty part. This is the part the motherfuckers gonna post on Instagram. They're not gonna post all this. But they're gonna post that, that end pic when the food's done. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, the little thing right here. Wash that. I mean, dry that off. Uh. Okay, guys. So, let me just get the rest of this. Because, you know, you really want to be cleaning up as you go. I'm telling you, it makes the, it makes everything. Because, like, imagine having, like, a big-ass mess afterwards, after you're done eating. It's just, like, it's double plates, it's double work. Just clean up as you go. Now, I'm not the most cleanest person in the world. You know, I'm not no meat freak or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I be, like, a little messy sometimes. But <clears throat> when I'm cooking, I take cooking very seriously. <laughs> so I definitely want to make sure everything's clean in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, I don't have a living room safe. <laughs> so I got to eat at this island right here. But I was like, well, why buy a table if I have this big ass, like, hey, this, is a, this is a fucking table. Okay, we're going to put these plates around here and motherfucking eat. Okay. So, um... <clears throat> Yeah, clean that up, dry that up. Mm -hmm. You know, make sure this is good. And then, yeah, to get started, placing everything. And make sure to always just have a lot of paper towel on hand because I use a lot of paper towel. And <laughs> I will use some glue. Like I said, I, <laughs> I have a limited amount of bowls. <laughs> okay, guys, by the way, I'm going to buy a bunch more stuff so I can start making content. Because usually, I eat on paper plates. I don't even give a fuck about all this. But because I'm doing it for y'all, I'm trying to make it all pretty. Like I would have put these containers on and just ate out of them. But I want it to be aesthetically pleasing. So I'm going to do it this way. So I'm going to put the let me see, ground turkey. <laughs> That's it. But y'all know I'm strong, so. Alright, transfer, transfer.
shrimps. I'm going to put that in bowl number two. Do wash it won't be so hard. Who washes this plate right after this? But sometimes you gotta let the people that's eating wash the plate. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I did all the cooking and I gotta cook every motherfucking clean. No, y'all need to get y'all ass up and wash some motherfucking dishes. No. So as they're transferring, sometimes we'll pieces might fall out onto the ground. I mean, not the ground, but onto the, you know, we could just put it down for you Because why not? You don't want to waste anything. All right. Mm, this is our three main dishes. The shrimp, salmon, and ground turkey. All right. Now for the sides. So I got these things. Where are they? Cilantro. That, that get its own like little thing, right? I think people eat cilantro. Like you pour cilantro on top of like little stuff and stuff. I don't fucking know. All right. I'm not like a taco eater either. I don't really like too much deal with tacos. So sour cream need its own bowl. But I got these cups too. I was like, well, maybe I can put some stuff in the cups because I don't have all bowls. But I'm sure I have the same effect, right? Okay, let's put sour cream in the cup. Might be a little ghetto, but like I said, I am not a chef. This is not um, Hell's Kitchen, all right? This is Diamond Kitchen, so we gonna do it how we gotta do it, all right? I could have been like, oh, well, I'm gonna just wait till I get balls and cups and plates and make everything pretty. But I said, you know what? Fuck waiting, all right? Do it now, okay? Sometimes it's not about pretty. It's just about, I don't know who I could be helping. There's somebody that's out there that want to make tacos and don't know how to make tacos. So today, I'm gonna help you learn how to make some tacos. Mm -hmm. Sour cream. All right, now we got this. That damn dog! Want to mix? I can do that because I'm going to wash it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not just washing it because you're watching. <laughs> I genuinely, if I was to cook for you, I'm going to lick my spoon, but I'm also going to wash it after, okay? So you don't have to worry. Like, oh my God, I'm just about to eat at people's house. Um, let me put this in this. Mm, you know what? Tomatoes could kind of just stay in our soul. Mm, that's tomatoes. All right, back of rice. Mm. Mm. You could put the lettuce on a big plate with, you know, lettuce juice. That's like the main ingredient to tacos, right? Oh, well, that should be enough for now. All right, lettuce, tomato. Um, let's put pico de gallo in a cup. Because I know that's like not something you use a lot of, but you know. Mmm, this smells, smells so fresh. Let me wash this out again. Oh, I didn't even use it. All right, let's pour it in there. Good tacos 101. Oh, okay. Let's fill that up to the top. Now, I ain't got that many friends, and um, it's not a lot of people about to come over and eat this, but I think <clears throat> me and Charlie got it. Okay. All right, Pico de Gallo. That's actually really fucking pretty. Look at that. Okay, yeah, okay. Now let's do 
salmon, this, ground turkey, this, this, that, that. Um, let's put some guacamole. Is that a taco thing? You put that on tacos, right? Some people like guac on tacos. Okay. Mm, that's not good. Okay, let's put that in here. Fresh guacamole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get this one. Let me get this one. Yeah, okay. Guac. Um, onions? <laughs> I don't know if that go in its own. Like, maybe I should have cooked that with the ground turkey. But whatever. Next time. Um, what's this again? Cilantro. People eat cilantro. Okay, what else? Oh, cheese. That's what we're missing. Potatoes with cheese. All right. Uh. All right, guys. So we got another cup here for the cheese. Ran out of bowls, but no, we'll just put it in a cup. Same difference. Uh. And then I think I'm gonna leave this salsa just in this container because we really don't have no more. <laughs> or maybe I could pour it on this, but no, I feel like it'll fall out of that. It's kind of soupy, you know? So yeah, we're just gonna leave this in this container. Um, mm, I like that smell. All right, so as we're going, <sighs> do I throw these away? Because what if we don't eat it all? We gotta put it back in there. Okay, I'm not gonna throw these away. Just in case. Mm. All right, what else is next? Let me start putting up what I don't need. We're done with this, we're done with this, we're done with this. Mm. All right, um, can you kind of get like an up angle? Because it looks better like up, you know? So I'm going to put these flatbreads on this bowl. Oh, should I put it on that bowl? Yeah, that's a big one. Let me put it on this bowl. I'll put the other one out. There you go. Do we need? I think that might. Oh, taco sauce. Not everybody likes taco sauce, but some people do. I know I bought some. I don't know where I put it, but let's see if there's some. Oh, you know what? Fuck, it's not over here. Um, it's up here. Oh, fuck. I just, I be putting stuff places sometimes. I don't get remember any. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I got it. Taco sauce. Can't have tacos without taco sauce, right? Okay, now let's put this stuff up. And then I'm going to come back with the final presentation, everything laid out, everything really pretty so you can see what it looks like when it's done. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so Taco Tuesday, all right, done. So if I had like actual friends, <laughs> this would be so fun. <laughs> but it's just me and Charlie. So yeah, we're gonna make the best of it. So put your things up here. Let me separate that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit of, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is that a lot, that's a little bit. I'm about to have like five of these, by the way. So I'm just showing you the two <laughs> that I'm about to eat right now. Mm. Mix that up. Let me put a little uh, on that. Ground turkey came out very ground and very turkey-ish. Turkey. 
Put a little, I'm gonna mix the salmon on mine and the shrimp together because that's just my preference. Mm hmm. Yeah. This oh shit. That was not a part of the program. All right. That happened. Here we go. All right. Some tomatoes. El tomato. Pico de gallo. Ooh, I like pico de gallo. Yeah, so sometimes tacos can get a little messy. You know what I'm saying? It don't gotta be perfect. It don't gotta be pretty. You can throw it all on there. It really don't matter. Um, I'm gonna just dig in here because, <laughs> you know, like I said, it's only me and Charlie. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't mind. <laughs> throw some of that on there. Yeah. Ooh, papi chulo. Yay, yay. Como estas? Muy bien. Y tú, baby. Got me speaking Spanish over here. Yeah. Put a little mm, sour cream on top. Yeah. Mm. Oh, shit. All right, I, I think that still works, right? Mm. Okay, that's good. Guacamole. Guac, 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 guac. You know, I be giving my nigga that guac, guac 3000. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm going to hit it with the salsa. This is mild, by the way. You know, I don't like my shit too hot. Mild. Okay. And then, you know, we just garnish it with a little e. Right there, get a little bit more of a uh, gotta uh, hit it like that, <laughs> and then some taco sauce. But really, I don't really care for taco sauce, I just bought it because it said taco sauce, and I just thought to get taco sauce. But regardless of what, here's the finished product. Mmm, doesn't that look yummy? Now, I have to take a bite. Oh, wait, don't get that. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna take a bite right here. You guys ready oh okay this might get a little messy because these are small tacos and i just stuffed everything in them but you ready oh my gosh that dog is ready to eat all right mm. muy bien Mm, the flavors. <laughs> I gotta get myself with this one. But if these are real small tacos, it's easy to eat. You can eat this in three bites. <clears throat> mm. Mm. It's so good. Alright, guys, do me a favor. Like, share. <laughs> Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see me eat more stuff. Or if you want to see me cook more stuff. Leave comments below. Let me know what you liked about this video. Let me know what you didn't like about this video. Let me know what else you want me to cook and stuff like that. And, <clears throat> fuck. Sorry. Alright, guys. Adios.